Marvel fans, Marvel fans. Um, you have such an iconic role in this. You've done a couple of Captain America movies. I want to know what was most important for you to keep consistent for Cap. We talk about what you change every time. What do you want to keep consistent? God, it's tough. To, it's 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 a good question. What do you keep consistent? That's tough because they try to make him change as much as possible. Um, God, I think what's consistent is that he's intrinsically a good man. He usually puts himself last, which unfortunately is a little bit of a boring attribute, but, but they try to find ways where the selflessness can still be dynamic. And can we talk a little bit about your evolving relationship with Sharon Carter at all? No, no, you're going to have to see that. <laughs> all right, well, we look forward to seeing it tonight. Thank you so much. Great to see you. All right, guys, Captain America himself gave us a little bit, and next we've got Robert Downey Jr. Two questions. Okay. Oh hi. oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I so, almost forgot who you were interviewing. Thank glad there's a card there. I know, right? Because we wouldn't know who Robert Downey Jr. is. Um, we are talking live to the fans. Hi. Hi. And um, tell me a little bit about what's going on with your foundation and Omaze. Yes. She's going <laughs> to cover that because I'm uh, I'm not the smartest I look. Everybody needs a good woman to... Uh, come in and tell the truth. Well, I have to say it was all Robert's idea. He wanted to create this foundation called Random Act Funding so we could learn more about all kinds of interesting organizations. Yeah, we, didn't ourselves. we didn't want to have to just commit to one. And we, Omaze was an incredible partner last year, last time we did this. So yeah. if you go to omaze.com slash RDJ, you get an opportunity to do a great experience with Robert. But the hopes is just raising a lot of money found for the foundation. Awesome. So question for you, too. Um, we would not expect to find Tony on the side of the government and oversight. What was it like kind of playing with that and flipping that on its head? I think it's probably, I mean, it's a great arc for him. Obviously, it's unexpected. And I think some of it's just a function of age, too, you know. Um, it's like half the people that were out there, you know, saying, you know, no nukes and shut down the power plants. They're now realizing that uh, some would say, you know, nuclear is the best way to go for energy for the future. So I think it's natural to re-examine your beliefs as you uh, as you age up. Something else, too. Of course. 